webinar which has been organized by disability and development consortium india on power kuhu kuhu das who is a founder of association for women with disabilities and she is going to do the summing up i think all these speakers um, have um, spoken uh, very very eloquently that uh, the uh, people with disabilities and also the women and girls with disabilities are one of the most uh, vulnerable population um uh, all the speakers have uh, kind of uh, you know interconnected that how it works uh, for people with disabilities the poverty and the other factors uh mrs uh, dr oruna rai actually uh, had very i'll just try because time is very short so i'll just uh, put uh, a few important points what the speakers have uh, put forward so dr oruna oruna roy uh, has uh, really really uh, very um, pointedly point that uh, intersectionality of poverty disability and marginalization is very very um, visible <clears throat> and the experience of our pandemic uh, has illustrated this sharp increase in marginalization and discrimination and within that exclusion of people with disabilities from the social security programs such as the national pension schemes and uh, um was one of the uh, point that she raised in her uh, um, presentation and what uh, the most important thing that dr runa roy said that the, there is a need for intersectional solidarity in campaigns and uh, <clears throat> uh, advocacy um, we have to do that uh, with the other uh, marginalized communities um a uh, complete inclusion is possible uh, 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 well uh, well designed inter, uh, intersectional um uh, collaboration and then you know fighting for the rights will be a best way to go forward that's uh, dr uruna roy said uh, what john said uh, that uh, is very interesting uh, he he said that uh, disability presents a gap big gap in the economic literature of poverty which i think is very very interesting yes that is true um he also said that most schemes and programs for persons living in poverty are based on standardized definition not very clear in themselves and have sh very many shortcomings um he spoke about the multidimensional poverty index approach through better will be better which is based on well being living conditions and indicators such as nutrition freedom uh, from operation education level and life expectancy but there is uh, re really arbitrariness in choice of indicators so he also said a very important point that nsso data shows that 62% of the disabled are dependent on a caregiver who is a family member and this means a further loss of income of the family um uh, he spoke about the atal yojana uh, pension scheme uh, he mentioned there that this uh, pension scheme uh, does not cover disabled people at all and we all know that so what uh, important he brought uh, forward is that it's essential that uh, social security for pensions with uh, people with disabilities have to be framed into the rights framework um what amitav said is quite important uh, as the other speakers and he started with the four big myths um uh, in the sdgs and um, connecting disability poverty and hunger so um, the first point what is said that sdg indicators to move from aggregated to disaggregated data which is i think very very important um <clears throat> he said macro numbers hide the extent of poverty and marginalization in particular of dalit adivasi adivasis and people with disabilities 
so we have to need to move uh, this conversation from extreme poverty eradication to justice for the marginalized um he spoke very clearly that uh, leave no one behind has been really an empty slogan and we have not seen that uh, has been really implemented on the ground level um he said many other important points that um also one uh, the i'm not going into details but uh, what important most important thing he said that um, the inequality of healthcare in healthcare um uh, and the explosion of wealth at one extreme and public health system crumbling at the other end and for people i just want to add here with amitav that you know for people with disabilities not only health the rehabilitation is a big issue which pravin has said also and the uh, in the opening remarks uh, arman and venki had pointed out so and uh, the rehabilitation of people with disabilities if i only just tell uh, only just add the uh, you know the the assistive devices has no really budget allocation in our budget so that is a very serious issue along with the healthcare system that is being that is uh, the people with disabilities are able to access so <clears throat> what amitav has reiterated that significance of considering the intersectional deprivation of people with disabilities along with other marginalized group is very crucial and we need to look into that um i think after that um, max uh, francisca spoke and um, he spoke the uh, other things of uh, during pandemic what was the poverty and the connections and all Uh, but i was very happy that she spoke about the gender inequality um the specific poverty cycle among uh, basing on gender is really really a very very critical point which we all have experienced during more even during during, during the pandemic and uh, this issue is really missing from the economic literature not only economic literature also in the economic inequality discourse that people with disabilities and among within people with disabilities there are gender gender inequality pravin and um, ketan has uh, very very de- uh, spoken detail about uh, the violence on women the poverty among women the 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 distress that the disabled women uh, have experienced during the pandemic so francisca has very um elaborately spoken on that and that was a very very crucial issue uh, issue and i think um that we need to take into account then we had uh, pravin um and uh, pravin has given very very important data whatever was possible i think uh, he uh, had uh, his data has clearly shown that um the uh, the absence the lack of data in the uh, sector disability sector government has really really no intent to give any data about on people with disabilities and we have even more less data on the status of women with disabilities that is really um, uh, quite a uh, important issue and is a big challenge that how do we um do about that but i really like that what amitav said that to go to niti ayog with disability uh, you know uh, indicators i think we will really look into that um pravin has brought uh, another very important issue of gender based violence um where during the pandemic um, it really went high and um, it is really not only surprising but shocking that nsso till they do not give do not keep any data on violence on women and girls with disabilities which is really really very shocking um the, you know during covid 19 we all have uh, seen that in national women's commission came out with the domestic violence data that it has increased and we all should be watchful but uh, even then uh, they the commission the women's commission did not speak about uh, women with disabilities but uh, <clears throat> we came to know from the uh, several sources and the newspapers that there were real 
<clears throat> you know, domestic violence and the other kind of all kind of violences went really, really high on women with disabilities during the um, COVID-19 pandemic. As well as it is also the women with disabilities do um, uh, experience always uh, most of them violence. But during pandemic, it went really, really uh, in alarming height. And the last uh, Ketan, what he spoke about the uh, uh, the study done by the Rising Flame and the Side Savers Neglected and, and Forgotten 2020. And uh, he gave uh, some detail about what was uh, uh, their findings in that studies. Uh, from where we can uh, very clearly see that um, what was the level of stress and strain and discrimination and deprivation that happened with women with disabilities, particularly. Um, even I work with women with disabilities and uh, it was, uh, I mean, a number of women could not even get their food every day um, during the pandemic. So um, this is really a uh, very, very uh, crucial issue. Um, this uh, Ketan had uh, pointed out a very, very impo another important is the food security for the elderly persons with disabilities and person living in, who are living alone on, on their own. So food security once again has to be seen and uh, we need to advocate for inclusion of people with disabilities in that. Uh, he also spoke about employment discrimination in employment and social, uh, social protection and all. And he spoke about that um, people not having, not getting their pension in time. It happened across India in most of the states, people really did not get their pension during, even during the pandemic. Uh, so that really made the people's life hell uh, who are living with uh, disabilities. I would that was in uh, very short the what the uh, speakers had put forward in this pan, um, discussion. So um, um, that's all from my end, Akhil. Over to you. The last part, the vote of thanks. I call upon uh, Mr. A. S. Narayanan. He is the president of National Association of the Deaf. Please, Narayanan, over to you. All right. Um, uh, I will be giving the vote of thanks, and I would like to thank everybody in the panel for their presentation. Um, I would like to first of all thank uh, Dr. Aluna Roy, uh, who is a social political activist, and thank you so much for your presentation. Next, uh, I would like to thank uh, Mr. J. He is the development uh, economist. And thank you so much for your presentation as well. Thirdly, I would like to thank Mr. Amitabh. Mr. Amitabh Z, CEO of Oxfam India. Right. CEO of uh, Oxfam India. And thank you, thank you so much. Fourth is uh, Ms. Francisca. She is the research manager again from Oxfam and she is from uh, Great Britain, United Kingdom. Thank you so much for your presentation. Next, I would like to thank uh, Mr. Praveen Kumar, VSO International. Thank you so much for your presentation as well. Next, I would like to thank Mr. Ketan Kothari uh, from Sight Savers India. And thank you again for your presentation. I would also like to thank uh, DDC and Vidya Sagar team. Thank you so much for organizing this event. And it was a great success. Done so many new things. Thank you so much. Thanks, Narayanan. Thank you, Akhil. And uh, with this, we come to the close.